Okay, um, hello everyone, I'm Sui Yitan, and I'm happy here to introduce our work, Optimizing Network Resilience Theory Vertex Anchoring. Uh, Real-world networks are usually modeled as graphs like shown in these figures. Uh, network resilience refers to a network's ability to adapt and endure changes. Where node engagement or user engagement is the key issue, a network is called resilient or robust if few nodes will leave the network given the negative changes happened in it. Uh, for example, an artificial or natural attacks. And the departure of users may contagiously affect other users' engagement, uh, which will even lead to the collapse of a network. Uh, for example, maybe we all know the Friendster uh, social network. And correspondingly, the users with increasing engagement may encourage the participation of others who are thus less likely to leave the network. And so uh, to sustain the network's resilience, uh, it is crucial to identify and enhance node engagement to the greatest extent, that is to maximize the number of engagement enhanced nodes. And according to existing studies, the CONIS is validated as the best practice for measuring the node engagement on graph structure. Um, and um, there is a picture and we can see that there exists a clear correlation between the value of the CONIS and the uh, node engagement, which is represented by the average number of check-ins in the Gowala data set. And vertex anchoring um, is a common practice in recent studies to optimize the engagement of targeted users by providing incentives and improve the engagement of other users through contagious user interactions. And so based on this, our problem is given budget B to maximize the number of CONIS enhanced nodes via anchoring B nodes, uh, which we call the follower maximization problem, uh, also FM problem. And to theoretically analyze the hardness of the problem, uh, we present three key findings. And first of all is uh, given a graph G, the FM problem is NP hard. And second, the FM problem is W2 hard parameterized by budget B. And third, uh, for any epsilon greater than zero, it is NP hard to approximate the FM problem on general graphs within a certain factor. And um, based on this, uh, we can know that uh, uh, to efficiently get a reasonably good result of the FM problem, our main focus um, is on designing effective and efficient heuristic methods. And here is the results of our heuristic study, and we can see that uh, we conduct uh, extensive experiments on eight real-life data sets, and we design also eight uh, different heuristics. Um, due to the time constraints, I um, only give a brief overview of all the uh, heuristics um, and without delving into the specific details. And to get a comprehension and um, understanding of this, all we uh, rec encourage the audience to refer to our paper. And um, we can see that among the eight uh, heuristics, uh, other than the greedy approach, uh, the other seven approach can be categorized into three categories. And first of all is the vertex attribute, uh, very simple. Uh, that means we can select the, the anchor vertex um, by their degree and by their conis values. And the second category is the boundaries of uh, resilience gain, including upper bound, upstairs deck size, and successive degree. And this category um, is based on the idea that we uh, estimate the exact resilience gain. And because the exact computation of the resilience gain is very time consuming. And the third category is called score function, including Shapley value and the combinational score. And uh, we can see that in these figures, uh, the greedy approach consistently yield the best results, um, especially when the budget is relatively large. 
And then we designed an advanced grady approach. Um, and now I will uh, briefly introduce the baseline of our um, algorithm. This is also a grady algorithm um, proposed by uh, this work published in SIGMOD conference. And although this grady approach is not decided tailored for our FM problem, it can be migrated into our problem uh, by simple modification. And we can just uh, modify their target value from conic scan to our resilient scan. Um, however, this approach has significant computational overheads in practice. Uh, for example, it needs more than three days on live journal data set when the budget B is set, set, is set to uh, 100. And uh, we propose a new grady approach called ADV grady, and it will choose the anchored vertices in B rounds, and in each round, it selects the vertex with the largest increasing resilience gain uh, by, by a function called find followers, and the function uh, employs the explore and retract strategy and multi-grid structure. Um, and uh, it skips the computation of followers for vertices whose follower set remains unchanged by a function called reuse. And it also uh, applies upper bound estimation to prune the number of candidates. And also, we first uh, propose a time dependent search framework called the Greedy Search Framework. And why we propose this framework? That's because uh, according to our um, slides, we know that it is NPH to approximate the FM problem on general graphs within a certain factor. And actually, this factor is a very strict constraint, which means we can hardly design an uh, effective and efficient algorithm with a good theoretical guarantee. And uh, so we, uh, to bridge the gap between theory and the practice, we propose this uh, greedy search framework. And the framework will first output a greedy solution quickly. Um, and this stage, it used the ADV greedy we proposed. And then it will continue to look for better solutions within the given time limit based on BNB search. And it equipped with uh, pruning strategies, uh, bonded death heuristic, and reuse intermediate resource techniques. And in this table, we listed our um, data sets uh, where, we, um, where our experiments conducted on. And the Dmax uh, refers to the max, maximum degree of the graph, and the A DAVG refers to the average degree of the graph, and the Kmax refers to the maximum conness in the graph. And we can see that the largest uh, uh, data set we use, the Orkut has uh, over uh, three million uh, vertices and um, more than 100 million ages. And um, this is um, the experiments uh, to evaluate the efficiency of our greedy approach. And we can see that our greedy approach is uh, outperforms the baseline GACFM by almost one order of magnitude and up to two order. And the gap becomes larger with the scale of the data sets increasing. And uh, the figures and the table uh, on the right shows uh, two techniques we adopt, we, we, we adopt uh, in our ADV greedy. And they are the main reason why our approach outperforms the baseline GACFM approach. And they're, they, they're called uh, the shell component and the upper bound. And the shell component is a data structure we use in our approach to organize the nodes um, by their conic values. And there is also a similar data structure called the core component tree um, in the baseline method. And we compare the number and the size of them. And the results shows that our shell component um, is uh, more fine grained, and which means our upper bound pruning techniques and our estimation of the uh, resilience gain will be much accurate. Um, and the upper bound and the table shows the upper bound techniques um, effectiveness. Uh, we can see that our upper bound technique is also uh, much more better than the old upper bound uh, adapted ad adopted in the baseline method. 
And um, they, this is the result of the experiments of our time-dependent framework. And we can see that our framework can first quickly output a relatively good resilience gain, and it continues to search for uh, better solutions. And the uh, lambda parameter here um, is a parameter used in the BNB search framework. Um, that means, uh, for example, if the lambda is equal to 2, uh, that means in the BNB search process, uh, when the dead branch is equal to uh, 2, and the search process uh, will terminate immediately. And we also apply our problem to the budget minimization problem um, also, and um, this problem is uh, the budget minimization version of our FM problem, and um, which means, um, given a targeted resilience gain, we uh, minimize the budget B, and uh, it has a different application um, with our FM problem in different scenarios, and we can see that the algorithm is easy to extend it from the algorithm for FM problem. And due to the time constraint, I will skip the details. And this is our uh, experimental results. And thank you for listening. And any questions? <laughs>